Hey guys and welcome to a new episode of my vlog. Enjoy! Up now in the Andes Mountains, acclimatizing for a climb for Aconcagua. So this is the first real glimpse we got of, of the mountain, which is now in my background. Me and my climbing partner Aiden over there. We were having an amazing trip, so just have a look at this scenery right here. Holy shit. days of acclimatizing outside the park, we went to the entrance, the entrance of Akukawa National Park, to start our walk towards the summit, a very long hike with loads of altitude meters to ascend. started. I'm now at a place called Confluenza. Check that out. This is like a middle camp. From here different paths get laid out and you can go to something called Camp Francia or Plaza de Mulas where, uh, which is the place we're going to. So me and my climbing partner Aiden we have now been up in the mountains for around 10 days staying here acclimatizing and that resulted in us actually doing uh, what was supposed to be a three hour trip in one hour and 50 with a 30 kilo backpack so our shape is pretty good other than that we just had our medical check which said that our bodies are basically at sea level so that's a pretty pretty neat thing to start out with um, tomorrow we're gonna wake up early we're gonna walk to a place called Plaza de Mulas, it's a 10 hour walk and that's gonna be freaking amazing. So that's what you also call base camp up there. We got a couple of mules to bring in our bags up. Yeah, it's gonna be nice. Let's check out this place. first night inside the park, we got cleared by the medical team to continue. So the next day we had a long day at We woke up early to get a head start on a 20k walk by the foot of the mountain. Through the endless scenery of a dry desert, we slowly got up to the official base camp of Akukawa. We 
are now at a place called Plaza de Mulas. It is the base camp of Aconcagua. On the normal route, and it's 4,300 meters high above sea level, that's what makes it a bit hard to actually speak. But it's beautiful up here. It's a small village. It's the second biggest uh, base camp in the world. And yeah, well, just have a look at this scenery here. It says it all. Yesterday we did a 20k hike with a 30 kilo backpack up here and it was freaking exhausting. That was super super hard. But we made it today and well a bit earlier we today we went to a place called Camp Canada which is up there somewhere at 5050 meters high. And up there we met these guys. Hey, so how are you guys doing? Right, thanks. You had a failed attempt to the summit, right? Uh, yeah. yeah. But down here, get some water and straight back at it. That's a plan, yeah. That's a good plan. Yeah. Nice. Uh, the whole camp here is it's based uh, by the foot of a glacier. Uh, I don't know how many people is up here, but it's it's like you get really calm when you're here because life is just beautiful. It's a whole other perspective than being in a busy village. Although there is like they got a pizza bakery, they got hot showers, they got massage and everything. And we get hot meals every day. Uh, it's just something about it. It's, it calms you. And actually, they also host the world's highest gallery. So we're gonna check that out right now. We just went inside the world's highest gallery. Unfortunately, the guy is now packing down all his stuff. But the cool thing is to know that he's listening to soccer music on his radio. Hi, hello. <laughs> Welcome to the high in the world without any art. <laughs> yeah, well, he's packed down. He's gonna go with the mules tomorrow, but it's so cool. He just came from Tromsø in Northern Norway, uh, where I lived for six years. So we got a lot of common references. And wow, world size gallery. <laughs> so for, we all know, most people don't want to go twice into the kitchen to pick up something. We don't want to go twice from base camp one to base camp two. So we're busting our asses off, carrying 30, I don't know, 30, 35 kilos. And we're now at 5,400 meters of high, and it's so freaking exhausting. But life, life is life. Life no, is no, life. No, no, no. <laughs> but we're doing a great job. Yep. Look at that backpack. It's insane. And there's the instrument. Goddamn instrument. Right now, I'm walking around in a place called Nidos. It's 5,560 meters above sea level. So it's pretty hard to actually just walk around and talk, but we can see the summit though. It's up there. And the camp itself is super beautiful. So we're staying here for, well, actually we basically we're just waiting for the weather to be better so that we can make a shot for the summit because up there we have to climb another 1300 uh, meters to get up there and the air is pretty thin so it's it's kind of hard <sighs> the next day we decided to make a shot for the summit we woke up at 3 a.m. to get ready. Unfortunately, my climbing partner was not feeling good and had the symptoms of altitude sickness and respectfully made a decision not to make an attempt for the summit. So, at 3.50 a.m. I started what was going to be a long and a hard day. It was minus 30 degrees, light winds 
and completely dark as I, a jazz saxophone player from Norway, started my 1300 meter ascent to the summit. After a couple of hours, it got cold. Really cold. Fearing for frostbite on my fingers and toes, I unfortunately was not able to film on the way up. All my water was frozen, man, my nutrition as well, so I couldn't eat or drink. How's it going? Almost there! But after many hours of determination, I was 10 meters from something the highest mountain in the southern hemisphere. Horrible, but in a good way. How's it going? Hey, you good? Nice. Am I there yet? Five meters. Is it ready? Yeah, I haven't played this high before, so it's gonna be exciting <laughs> to see if, I, if I'm gonna pass out or not. Let's just try and see if I actually can get a sound. Oh, one second. Uh, so, oh, it's so hard. <laughs> at the summit of Aconcagua, 6,962 meters above sea level. And it is gorgeous. It is absolutely stunning. Uh, I'm out of, breath. Uh, out of breath. I just played a concert up here. I lasted for seven minutes before I nearly passed out. That's the kind of, yeah, things I'm dealing with up here. Uh, I'm speechless. It's so beautiful up here. It's you cannot imagine just being on the roof of the Andes. It's uh, it's it's kind of moving. I'm not. Yeah, people are coming up now, screaming. <laughs> That's kind of cool. What? Yeah, I I can't imagine. I I do get them. That was probably one of the hardest days I've ever had. I started this morning at. Uh, 10 to 4 uh, I've I've done yeah how many altitude meters that yeah started at 5560 and yeah so I'm not at now at uh, uh, 6962 I'm I'm so off sorry but it's kind of overwhelming I've been walking non-stop uh, for the last eight hours without any water because it froze because 
it was horribly cold. I didn't vlog anything on the way up because I was severely cold the whole way on my feet and on my fingers. Uh, yep, cheers. down in base camp from the summit yesterday I walked directly from the summit at 7,000 meters down to base camp at 4,003 so that was a pretty hard trip also I forgot to put on sunblock on my nose and my lip and it hurts like a motherfucker but uh, now we're ready to go down to Mendoza uh, pack up our bags and we're gonna do the last the last hike down it's uh it's a seven hour hike to the park entrance and then we're done we nailed Aconcagua so ciao base camp <laughs> 